welcome to the project demonstration of uh, battery management system uh, with charge monitoring and fire protection so here we are uh, monitoring the battery voltage so the monitoring battery voltage levels we are using 3.7 volts uh, 2600 milliamps each battery this battery pack consists of uh, 3 3.7 volts 2600 milliamps battery pack so which are connected in series so we will get 11.2 volts voltage from this one that is the voltage maximum we can get up to 12.5 volts and charging voltage for this is, uh, battery pack is 14 volts and that 14 volts is getting from this uh, transformer through this charging circuit so transformer is used to step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts of AC and this charging circuit will convert that 12 volts AC to 12 volts sorry 14 volts DC uh, with the help of this capacitor and rectifier section that is the main charging voltage and that will be given to this battery pack through these two electromagnetic relays so we can select the battery should be charged to the normal charging and when the both relays get switched on it will go with the fast charging mode and that will be selection through these two switches so the first operation of our project is feature is like we can charge a battery in uh, normal mode and fast charging mode and the next feature is while the battery is charging or if the load was applied on this battery pack if the uh, battery temperature increases threshold value so for demonstration purpose we set the temperature threshold value is 45 degrees centigrade whenever the battery pack temperature crosses that then uh, the system will stop this uh, charging to this battery pack and a uh, message will be displayed on the LCD screen as a high temperature and a buzzer will get switched on as well as for cooling of this battery pack we are using this CPU fan for cooling system so here we are using a voltage sensor and current sensor to monitor the voltage of this battery pack and current present on this battery pack through this current sensor. So these two are interfaced to the PIG microcontroller. So overall in our project main components are like uh, temperature sensor is the first input and second input is the voltage sensor and third input is the current sensor and the control switches to select the fast charging and slow charging. So these are the main input modules and output modules are like LCD display to monitor the continuous uh, messages on the LCD screen and a CPU fan this is a cooling fan through this transistor board and a buzzer so this one is a buzzer board and the two electromagnetic relays these two are the used for the fast charging and normal charging and also like uh, yeah these are the main uh, CPU fan is the output so these are the main input and output modules so let me explain the component wise 230 volts AC input to this transformer so which will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts DC and that will be converted into 14 volts after the filtration as we know that after the filtration we will get VRMS value so that is going to be the 14.5 volts but the operating voltage of our microcontroller is 5 volt so 14 volts is directly input to the fan through this transistor board and to the battery pack through this electromagnetic relays but the 5 volts is getting after this black color 7805 regulator so which will take 14.5 volts DC input and provide us the 5 volts DC output so through this connector so once we provide that here the controller start reading input from the input sensors 1, 2, 3 input sensors based on this the system will control the output modules like relays, battery pack, charging voltage through this relays one and LCD display, buzzer and CPU fan so let us see demonstration so this one is to on and off the load from the for the battery pack and the next this is the on off switch to isolate the battery pack voltage to the microcontroller to make the battery pack voltage as a less voltage then only the controller will recognize that and it can provide us the audible alert so that we can select the fast charging or slow charging mode so let us see the demonstration just on the power supply to this kit and the welcome message will be displayed on the LCD screen and after that we can see the live battery voltage and along with current and temperature so as of now there is no load connected here that's why the current is going to be the 0 milliamps and when I switch on that you can reset this if any junk message is displayed on the LCD this is the reset switch to restart the microcontroller press and release just if you only reset the system don't erase any program so we are getting the current over here we can see that the current right and we can observe the voltage also slowly decreasing as we add the load and uh, in order to make the voltage fault means less voltage from the battery pack this on off switch just I am isolating the power supply from the battery to the microcontroller so that the microcontroller came to know that there is no battery voltage so zero volts then automatically it will keep on beeping us so we can select the either slow charging 
or else force it. Press and hold till you get the uh, indication from this relay board. Right. And once the battery indication uh, has a full uh, battery voltage, then automatically these two will be getting switched off. And uh, one more thing is, if uh, the battery temperature increases, when it crosses the 45 degrees centigrade, then automatically the fan got switched on. You can see that. Okay. So in this manner, we are managing the battery pack uh, by monitoring the voltage, current, and temperature along with fire protection.